We are in sunny San Jose to experience the new flagship phones from Samsung. Not too long ago, tech companies raved about megapixels and hardware capabilities. That's changing. Out with megapixel talk. While experiencing the new flagship phones from Samsung, I realized the impact AI can have in the coming days and months. There are three new phones from Samsung. Galaxy S24 Ultra, Galaxy S24 Plus, and Galaxy S24. I am not going to get into the branding on the processor or hardware details at the moment because the biggest feature on the new devices is AI. You may say that Google has promoted a good degree of AI tech with its Pixel phones. It has. But Google just couldn't explain how all their AI technology can easily be used. Samsung, on the other hand, has got the messaging right. At least that's what appears. In your pocket is a device that you use all the time. At the same time, one also needs to remember that Samsung enjoys high brand recall value and brand loyalty in India. We saw some of the new AI driven features in motion and all we can say is working with the smartphone will not be the same again. Let's dive into the voice recorder app on the phone. There are a list of recordings and you can choose any. A transcribe button will pop up. Next, you need to select the language in which the recording has been made. At once, the AI icon comes into play. The time needed for the, tr for the transcription obviously depends on the length of the recording. You must be wondering if it is as good as, say, on Auto AI. I have transcribed a few recordings and the results are spot on. Let's take it a step further. I want to translate the transcribed text into Portuguese. Simply select the transcribed text and then the language to which you want to transcribe into. I want more. I try to transcribe the text into French, of which I have some knowledge. It works. There is more. The voice recording that was transcribed is long. It's like having a TLDR moment. So time for summary. Hit the button and voila. Plus, the summary gets translated into the language of your preference. Another helpful feature that has hints of Microsoft's Copilot. Here I want to talk about something. The term Copilot is slightly boring. Instead of throwing jargons at you, Samsung has kept it simple. And that matters when it comes to winning over customers. Open any note you may have saved on your phone. When you select the AI button on the bar at the bottom of the screen, there is a list of options to choose from. Auto format, summarize, correct spelling and translate. On selecting summarize, it only takes a few seconds. The same goes for the other options. On selecting auto format, headers and bullets get generated. There are a number of formats to choose from. It's a neat feature and you can generate a report that's presentable in a matter of minutes. Personally, I believe in the integrity of photographs and I don't like to play around with it. But AI is here and photography will not be the same again. So I'm looking for ways to figure out if AI has been used in a photograph. Samsung appears to be getting it right at least for the time being. I selected a photograph of a boy shooting hoops, hit the edit button and then the AI icon appears. All you need to do is draw around the object you want to work with. You can use your finger to select it or the S Pen. I dressed up the person and then brought him closer to the basket. Hit generate and in a matter of seconds, actually quite a few seconds depending on the complexity of the photograph, the person has moved to a new spot while the background has been tackled by AI. The final image is clean. When you save a copy of the photograph, there is an AI watermark. But you can also dive into more info and find out if AI has been used. 
I have a few Armenian school friends who stay in touch over messages. At times, they tend to message a sentence or two in their mother tongue. It takes me some effort to translate the same. This is where chat trans translation comes into play. It's especially helpful if you have a lot of business colleagues spread across geographies. On choosing the AI icon in the message app, there are three options. Chat translation, writing style, and spelling and grammar. Chat translation is what it exactly means. I translated English to French, the entire conversation, Another interesting feature is translating as you type. So, Keen, hello, how are you doing? And see, ciao, uh, como stai? Pop up on the screen and you can send the translated text. There are times when I see my friends enjoying time out in the sun and at times I wonder what is the thing in the background? Hold on to the home key. Next circle, the photograph you want to learn about and the results immediately show up. It can also look for celebrities. So next time, you won't mistake an alien for Elon Musk. And it's not that these photographs need to be shot on the phone. If the picture resides on your phone, you can use circle to search on the snap. Now the interesting bit. At times I meet YouTube influencers who wear shoes that go beyond a journalist's salary. But there is no harm finding more information about it. Point at a shoe or a shirt, use circle to search to find out about the object. Needless to say, some of the results are correct and some are not. Samsung has been delivering excellent telephoto snappers on their phones for years. But I wanted something more than 3x or 10x. Most of the time, I need a photo taken at 5x. When you look at the updated camera setup, you will notice 0.5, 1x, 3x, 5x and 10x. You can go further. There are moments when I'm in a state only cats are found in, too relaxed. I don't want to get out of the chair to read the QR code at the front of the room or on a display. The level of steadiness and clarity on the camera front has improved. Does it work with 100x zoom? You know, space zoom, the steadiness is at 100x is better than what it was last year. Hitting 100x, I could manage to scan a QR code that was very far away and the camera managed to read it. AI has been used to improve zoom at every level. Often I'm found looking for a slow-mo shot while editing videos. And then I realized I didn't take any. Instant Slow Mo uses AI to turn any video into one that has slow motion tech. Uh, you don't need to shoot in slow mo mode or have perfect lighting. You can shoot any video and afterwards turn it into a good looking video. AI analyzes motion in any video. What you get next is interpolation, generating extra frames and inserting the scene. There are three new frames for every original frame, which means it takes the video down to a quarter speed. You can employ the tech throughout a video that is already on your phone. When clicking a photo from behind a glass facade, oftentimes we are stuck with a poor, poor, poor reflection. AI can be used to spot potential problems in any photo. Consider reflection in a photo, press the info button and then edit suggests options to fix it. One can be something like, do you want to remove reflections? It takes two to five seconds to fix it. Anyone can fix a photo. What is far more complicated but executed wonderfully well on the new phones is the way shadows are dealt with. Consider portrait shot and somehow shadows can be seen in parts of the face. AI can adapt and there will be the option to erase shadows. It's not just about removing the unwanted shadow on the face. AI needs to work on parts of that shadow falling on the wall or other objects. It's super easy and it gets done with on-device computing. When it comes to generative AI, parts of it gets done online. Let's consider a basketball player. 
who was high in the air shooting a hoop somehow i missed the shot i can go back in time select the person using the s pen and place him where i want him in the picture if the edges of the photo need to be generated ai can do that with generative ai for which a server connection is needed in real world consider a situation where you need to make a reservation at a restaurant or you can't find your uber driver we tried calling a restaurant once the call is made choose call assistant and then live translate choose the language hear what you have to say can i reserve a table for 8 people on friday at 8 pm it takes a few seconds but ai translates what i have said into the language of my charts the person at the other end hears the translated speech and similarly his her dialogues are translated into a language i understand lawless ah well i haven't tried different accents and so on plus the number of language languages that are supported is limited at the moment but the option works well enough to get work done if you like this content visit t2online.in and stay tuned for more videos thank you for watching